Patterns, fringe uh, bands. So, with the help of that uh, existence of those fringe patterns or fringe bands, we are going to say that that particular surface is a flat or concave or a convex. So, in that way, we observe the application of interferometry in finding the patterns. So, whenever the surface is having the equal kind of lines when they are coinciding with each other, it's, uh, it will be considered as a flat one. And it's not that one, if the surface is having a parallel lines and uh, the slinkage which ever we kept in order to find out the flat is having some inclined lines or some curvature lines, curved kind of lines, at that moment that would be segregated as the surface is not flat one, it is convex or convex or a kind of <coughs> pattern the surface is existing. Right? So like this here <coughs> different combinations of fringe patterns we observed from the interferometry concept. By that we said that the surface is either flat one or not flat. Now Coming to the today's uh, session, that is uh, in today's laboratory class, we are going to concentrate on the fourth experiment, that is a thread measurement using tool maker microscope and tool maker device. Uh, here, our major intention is whatever the screw thread is there. So in our tutorial life, within our mechanical uh, field, we are observing different kinds of threads. Right? Sometimes the threads which are are there. They are existing internally, sometimes externally. So if that thread is existing, it's how to find out its parameters. So among those parameters, so we are having different kinds of thread pa parameters, like uh, pitch, crest, root, the internal layer, external layer, then flank angle, thread angle, flank. So like these kind of terminologies are there for a screw thread. So among them, we are interested in finding the thread pitch and thread angle. So these are the two things which we are majorly emphasizing and majorly we are going to concentrate on this particular thread measurement.
as sorry for the interruption. <coughs> so here our major intention is to find out the thread parameters. Okay, so among that we are interested in thread pitch finding and thread angle finding. So in the previous uh, experimentation part, we observed uh, how a gear to gear caliper is helpful for us. Within that, we considered a gear. Right? So that gear is having some nomenclature with addendum, redundum, thickness, pitch, thick, uh, pitch value. Then after uh, two thickness, uh, pitch circle diagram. Like this, some terminologies we observed in the second experiment. So there, our specimen or our uh, 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 what you call that, uh, uh, finding finding parameters uh, component is uh, gear but here we are uh, we are going to change that particular component with the uh, screw thread whenever a screw thread is existing at the moment we are going to see how a tool maker microscope is So with, this, with that intention, here, whatever the screw thread parameters are there, they are like thread pitch and thread angle. So those are the things which we are going to concentrate among the all other parameters of the screw thread. So with that intention, we are going to see whenever a screw thread is given for us, means how to find out the, its parts, some of the parts. By means of the tool maker microscope. Okay. So, with that intention, A, we are treating it as to measure the thread pitch and thread angle of a given screw thread component using 2 by 3 by method or tool maker microscope. So, within this particular experiment part, we are going to utilize the tool maker microscope as our device, and our specimen is uh, screw thread. With the combination of this device and the specimen, we are going to find out the thread pitch and thread angle. Okay. So, in that concern, if you see operators required over here is tool maker microscope and screw thread. Okay. So, here, as <coughs> within this, uh, regarding screw thread, you might have some knowledge. Okay. And uh, regarding tool maker microscope, I think this is the first time we are going to utilize within our these three years of uh, time span. Okay, uh, we have gone through the ordinary microscope and we've gone through the metallurgical microscope, but here tool maker microscope is what in what way it is different means here the microscope is which is going to do the magnification of the black pieces. Suppose say if it is appearing in smaller size in the micron size means. With the help of the microscope, we are going to make enhancement of that particular image or that particular object. By that, whatever the small portions are there, small uh, parts are there, those are going to be uh, magnified. By that, you can clearly visible, you can clearly observe what is there at that particular part by means of a microscope. So when it, this microscope is called as a metallurgical microscope, means Whenever that microscope is helpful for us to find out the surface nature or surface uh, uh, structure inside of what kind of materials it is going to exist in and what is the shape of that particular uh, color of that particular structure. So, in order to find out all those things, we are having a metallurgical microscope. Now, compared to metallurgical microscope, how this tool maker microscope is different means. Here, tool maker microscope, again it is one kind of microscope only, but within this we are going to measure the, some of the parameters. So the measurement part is going to be done by means of insertion of the some other instruments like micrometers, linear calipers, something like that. Okay. So whenever a microscope is existing for measurement of some of the parameters, at the moment that will be considered as a tool maker microscope. So here, if you observe the appearance of tool maker microscope, you can see over here. Okay. So anyway, the discussion is going to happen. Now, within this, here, our major intention is to find out the thread pitch and thread angle. So 
So these are the two things which we are going to measure. Okay. So for further sake, first of all, we are going to see how a screw thread is going to be existing. After that, we are finding where exactly this thread pitch, thread angles are existing. After that, after getting the knowledge from the screw thread, we are going to see how a tool maker microscope is helpful for us to find out this thread pitch and thread angle. So, before going to look into the screw thread terminology, the screw thread parts, allow me first of all write this uh, experiment name that is the fourth experiment. Keep the numbering as four and write it as thread measurement using tool maker microscope and two or three are yes. And also write aim of as required. So first of all, all of you complete these particular things within your observation network so that we can continue with the next discussion part. Am I audible to you? the title then after A and after operators once it is over please remind me so that we can we can move towards the screw thread terminology and the, the existence of the parts on the particular screw thread. So here also if you observe, we are going to take one of the instrument for the measurement purpose and the measuring parameters are thread uh, parts, like uh, thread terminologies, thread terminology which are there. In order to find out those terminologies, those particular parameters, we are going with an instrument called tool maker microscope. So as I told you, our subject as well as laboratory whichever is there within this always we are focusing on the measuring parameters and its related instruments okay. so that whenever you get into the any kind of industry at the moment if we are uh, working on that particular any one of the component which at the moment sometimes you need to go with the measurement of the, those particular parts of the tool, which, uh, manufactured component at the moment, if you are having clear idea about this particular instrument, at the moment, without any hesitation, you can make through the measurements then, then and there itself, so that uh, uh, you will be recognized. So 
once you have taken this information, now, so as I told you, here our intention is to find out the thread pitch and thread angle. So these are the two things. First of all, we need to find out where exactly this thread pitch and thread angles are existing on the screw thread. So directly we are moving towards the components uh, specimen on which we want to find out the pitch as well as the thread angle. Okay. So coming to this thread angle, oh, sorry, thread, screw thread. Screw thread is a continuous helical groove of speci specified cross section produced on the external or internal surface. So here, in terms of nuts, bolts, whatever the screw threads we are observing, those are existing sometimes externally and sometimes internally. So whenever these screw threads are existing, means on that particular part, we are interested in Screw threads are used to transmit the power and motion and also use it to fasten two components with the help of nuts, bolts, and studs. Right? Now here, whenever the screw threads are there at the moment, with the help of these things, we can transmit the power as well as the motion also. So where exactly we are finding these screw threads means it is on the nuts, bolts, and studs also. Within this, sometimes the existence of the screw threads we are observing externally and sometimes internally so external surfaces are having screw threads sometimes internal surfaces are also having screw threads so there is a large variety of screw threads varying in their form by included in the head angle helix angle etc the screw threads are mainly classified into external thread and internal thread so now within this particular figure if you observe we are having at the first external screw thread okay, and below figure it is showing us the component is existing with the external threads and internal threads. So in this way a screw thread is existing means we are going to say some of the component some of the parts on the particular screw thread. Okay, so what are the parts we are going to see now? Here, for visibility purpose, we have this. So, if you observe this one, this particular figure, it is a, a external screw thread. Why? Because the thread's existence we are going to observe externally on the surface of the external uh, we are going to see the screw threads over here right? so whenever you observe this with the normal eye uh, we are not going to see the things so that's why we are going with uh, some uh, instruments microscopic uh, kind of instruments so with that we are going to see the clear picture of that particular screw thread Okay, so whenever in a schematic diagram, if you want to show it, means it will be look like this. Right? Whenever the surface is having external threads. So whenever you observe this one, if you see the in a chronological order, it consisting of the root, crest, pitch, then major diameter, pitch diameter, minor diameter, and it is consisting with the depth, thread angle, and flat. So these are the some of the parts which are there on the every screw thread, whether it may be a external screw thread or internal screw thread. Okay. So here, if you see this A figure which I already shown over here, left side, it is called as an external thread. Why? Because the surface uh, on the surface externally the threads are existing. So the thread profile you can see over here. Even right side B figure it is showing as internal thread. Suppose you consider there is a nut. Okay. So at that moment, if you see inside 
the surface we are having the screw thread profiles. So here also this profile is consisting of crest root as well as external thread is also having crest root. So if it is having depth means internally this is also having depth. Okay. So it consisting of the pitch means it is also having pitch. If it is having minor diameter, major diameter, pitch diameter means this internal thread is also having similar kind of features. Okay. So like this, whenever we concentrate on the external thread, it is going to exist in the root, crest, pitch, major diameter, minor diameter, pitch diameter, flank, and uh, depth, then of the thread angle. So these are the some of the parts which are going to be there. So as a part of our experiment, what is our aim? Here we are interested to find out the pitch, okay, so this particular parameter and thread angle. So these are the two things which we are majorly interested in this particular experiment part. By what means? It is by means of a tool maker microscope. Right. So here, if you observe the definition of these things, then it will be clear for us. So once the parts are visible for us, means then we need to go with the definition part of these particular parts. So when it is going to be called the root, crest, pitch, major dia, minor dia, thread angle, flag, and depth all these things. So before going to have a glance on the definition part, all of you please uh, make note of this particular figure. Write the subtitle as thread profile, screw thread profile. Under that particular subtitle, you make note of this particular figure. So we can see here, if you know clearly these particular parts, then after you will get in on what particular uh, area we are focusing on what are the parameters we are interested in. so with that intention all of you please note of this particular figure which is a screw thread profile schematic diagram so whenever physically if it is appearing means if you want to draw the that particular external screw thread it will be shown in this way so with that intention all of you is uh, where this so we, uh, to draw this particular screw thread profile give the subtitle as screw thread profile under the subtitle part you draw this particular screw thread Yes, all you need to take this particular diagram. Clearly draw the figure, then after we we'll try to show the parts as it is. In the next phase, we are going to learn what is the definition of individual part over here, how it is going to be defined. As I told you over here, our intention for getting this particular experiment is whatever the screw thread 
parameters are there. Those parameters we are finding. So in order to get the parameters dimensions, we are going with the fluid mechanics. So with that, what will happen? Whatever the screw thread may be, that will be magnified. Okay, magnification process will happen. Means of insertion of the mirrors and uh, optics or uh, the, the elaboration of the component will happen and with that you can clearly observe what is the root, what is the press, what is the pitch distance and so with that intention uh, draw this particular figure so that you will get the idea what exactly we are learning and what are the parameters we are interested in the scripted part. Yes, all of you, please draw this figure within your observation level. So once this uh, drawing is over, please confirm it. So that we can move to the definition part. So the line between the of you take this particular figure. So this is the specimen of the screw thread. In a schematic way, if you show it, it consisting of these parts. So that's why, as a major intention is to find out these particular parts only. So that's why, in the initial stage, we need to draw this particular figure and because uh, once you are aware of these particular parts then it is easy for us to discuss about the structure. This drawing is over, please, any one of you, confirm that you have taken it, so that we can move to the next one. Are you taking? Tarun three sixty. Sanat building. Shiva Kumar. Yes, any one of you respond? Are you taking the figure? Gauri Priya, you also? Okay. So once you have drawn this particular screw thread part, which is having a externally the screw threads are existing. Right? Uh, so with that, with this particular figure, you came to know that where exactly different parts of uh, uh, screw threads are existing with the root, crest, pitch, major, uh, minor, minor, all these things. Right?
Now, let us move towards the definition part. I will move behind the object. So, great technology. So, the above figure or within your drawn figure, whatever the parts are there, just regarding those things, we are going to make a definition points now. So, here on the screw thread, we observe there is a crest and a root. Okay. So, here crest, what exactly crest? So, on the screw thread, it is the top surface joining the two sides of the thread. So, here, what is this crest? It is a surface, a top surface which is joining the two screw threads. So, this is one screw thread and adjacently whatever is there, it is another. Now, this is the surface, it is a top surface of the screw thread which is joining the two screw threads. Okay, so by means of this slant uh, edges, the top surface is going to be joined means and that will be considered as a crest. Nothing but here, crest is the topmost portion of the screw thread. So within the figure you can clearly observe the topmost portion is a crest. That's why its top surface joining the two sides of the thread is considered as a crest. So crest is one part of the screw thread which joins the two sides of the thread. Then root. So the next immediate terminology we are having is root. <coughs> the bottom of the groove between the two flanks of the thread. So before going to have a root, first of all, if you see in the first figure, we are having a flank. Okay. So what do you mean by flank here? Surface between crest and root. So here. We are saying that the topmost portion is a crest and bottommost groove wherever it is there that is considered as a root. Now the line which is joining this root and crest that will be considered as a flank. So here every screw thread is having two flanks. Okay. So you consider this is one screw thread, it consisting one flank towards the left side of the root and right side of the root. <coughs> so, <coughs> flank is a, a line which is joining the root to the crest. So, the surface between crest and root, whichever is there, that will be considered as a flank. Okay. So, here within the figure, you can see where is the flank over here. Right. So, it is joining crest and root of a screw thread means that line or the surface whichever is there it will be considered as a flank. Then coming to the root, the bottom of the groove between the two flanks of the thread. So if you see in one particular screw thread, we are saying this slant edge is a flank. Right? Similarly, this is a flank. Now, in between this, whatever the surface is there, <coughs> In between the two flanks, whatever the surface is there, that will be considered as a root. So, the bottom of the groove between the two flanks of the thread. Next, <coughs> which, so this is the parameter which we are finding now. So, what do you mean by pitch? The distance measured parallel to the axis from a point on its two thread to the corresponding next point. So here, if you consider this screw thread, crest to crest distance or root to root distance, root to root distance, this will be considered as a pitch, okay. So within a screw thread, okay, or within this, this particular thread, crest to crest distance or root to root distance will be considered as a pitch distance or pitch simply. So that's why here the distance measured parallel to the axis from a point on the screwed on a, on a thread 
to the corresponding next point. So here the point whichever is there, the point sometimes it, you can consider it as a crest, and sometimes it has a root. Okay, so the distance which you measure it from the crest to crest or root to root, that will be considered as a pitch. Okay, so once if you are having this knowledge, then it is easy for us to go with the tool maker microscope. So we are having less than one minute time. If it is disconnected, we please rejoin once again so that we see the upcoming uh, <coughs> this one, uh, definition parts. Right. Next, we are having a <coughs> flank angle. <coughs> angle made by the flank of the thread with the perpendicular to the thread.